here. Um, you know, we, you know, last year we did a lot of trap tree series. We're going to continue to do trap tree series for sure, but we're moving into our new kind of series, right? Which is retro tech. Uh, retro tech is all about, it's a whole platform. It's we're we've been working on this for quite some time now. That's all about cannabis genetics. That's the number one. Like. That's all it is. It's about cannabis genetics. It's about breeders. It's about the history, the stories behind it all. Um, and I'm really excited to start to roll that up. That's good. It's just like, you know, there's so much rich history there. And, you know, it's just, it needs to be done. I think it's been done really well. You know, it's been done well by, I think it's been done, you know, well by other people. Definitely can't, can't deny that. Um, I think what we're going to be good at, though, is like kind of, um, kind of being like a neutral party that allows us to consolidate information from all over the internet from you know you know different information sources you know we have a pretty pretty vast network now um and i'm just i'm just excited for that because yeah we just got a lot of different stories coming up and and, and really like the take that we're going to have on retro tech and i want to make this clear is you know retro tech is going to be about um you know us trying to preserve the stories that you know are involved with each genetic right each strain and we're also you know we're not you know we're not trying to come in we're not trying to be like the people that decide this is right this is wrong like we're going to do multiple volumes right so for example like we did the og kush video right um i don't know if anybody if you guys have seen it or not whoever's watching but the og kush video is really that's like volume one right there's other volumes that we're going to be rolling out eventually, um, you know, on OG Kush because it's just such a massive, it's such a massive story, such a massive, you know, massive strain, genetic, uh, all the different, you know, all, all different cuts, right? So it's really complicated. So it's going to be multiple volumes. And the thing that I think is important to do is to like, you know, there's, there's, you know, I think it's important to tell all of the like legitimate stories that are connected to a genetic, right? Now, like there are, you know, like we're going to have to do a little bit of, you know, uh, investigating when it comes to like, you know, trying to, you know, find out absolute bullshit stories. But at the end of the day, like, I think it's, it's really not our, not really my place whatsoever to say what is exactly right and what is exactly wrong. I think it's just more so just us to preserve all of the history and tell all these different stories that are connected to it. And then, you know, I'm actually thinking about doing like, we're building a whole like, you know, platform for this that like people can go and like vote and like discuss it. And, you know, um, you know, really decide, like, like have a conversation about it because I'm really not trying to be, I don't, I don't want to be the thing. I don't want to be the people that decide this is right. This is wrong. I mean, there's obviously going to be stories that are not going to be valid. Like, you know, there's ways that we're going to be able to check that. But I think, you know, I also want to have like a separate, a separate like nonprofit, you know, uh, like, a, like a council of a bunch of different you know, people from all over the world that, you know, are, are well regarded in the, the breeder community. And that's already kind of what the Breeder Syndicate kind of does, right? With, with you know, shout out to Matt Riot, shout out to the Breeder Syndicate, shout out to all, just all the cannabis, you know, all the folks in cannabis genetics. But, you know, I don't really have, you know, any stake. I'm not a breeder, right? I'm not, you know. I just want to help preserve stories. And I think that that's, I think that's super, super important is just the preservation of it all. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's definitely, I'm definitely excited about that. Like, so, you know, we're going to, we're, we're really trying to tell like every single, you know, we're trying to do what we're trying to do what I think Leafly should have done with their, their two corporate slash two. It just takes, it's also just hard to do this, but, we're gonna to try to create an entire library, right? Like hundreds, hundreds of different documentaries that help tell the story of each genetic, um, you know, that, you know, help preserve those stories and make sure that people are, you know, aware of, of what 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 these these strains mean. And in a lot of ways, like what, what a genetic is really in, in terms of, you know, especially like when we talk about the older strains that are like, you know, land races or more, more so land races. It's like, for example, like the Maui Wowie, right? It's like, it's a name of a genetic, it's a name of a, a strain that encapsulates not only like a, a like an actual flavor profile, terpene profile, all that stuff, like obviously all, all the, the uh, scientific stuff. Um, it also though encapsulates an entire, like the, the uh, anthropology around it is also important. Like it encapsulates like, you know, groups of different people in a certain region 
that are having these different experiences that are parallel with like the, you know, uh, with that genetic, if that makes sense. It's kind of, I'd be kind of confusing um, if I don't describe that right. But, you know, like for example, Maui Waui though, like, you know, that's a genetic where no, we're never going to know who exactly came up with it. And it's really just a name, right? But it's a name that's associated with a region and a region and, 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 and time period. And so I think it's important to like really encapsulate that time period, you know, important people within that region that were involved with it. Um, and, you know, preserve it. But yeah, you're thinking too much, just do this. Yeah, I feel this. Yeah, absolutely. Um, okay, sweet. Well, like I said, Retrotech, I'm excited for that, guys. Uh, we got, by the way, if you haven't subscribed to the Retrotech YouTube channel, please go do that. We're streaming right now on the Retrotech YouTube channel, but um, definitely go check it out if you guys haven't. Just look up Retro 